CES 2021 has started, so let's talk tech. It's Morning Star News. All right, so today's focus is going to be on um, augmented reality glasses and otherwise um, smart glasses. Um, it seems like there were a couple of products um, announced, released, um, specs given, stuff like that um, last night when uh, CES started. Um, so it was a short day for CES yesterday, and of course it's an all online this year, a virtual event. Um, but there are, um, obviously people want to showcase their tech, so there's a lot of stuff going on. Um, but we want to focus on the, um, what they've got going with the augmented reality, because that's, you know, that's what we're all about here. <laughs> okay, so let's go um, take a look at these uh, first pair. So these are Lenovo's um, Think Ready A3 um, AR glasses. And uh, right off the bat, you can see a cable there. So um, that um, is telling you something, right? These are wired. Um, they either connect to the PC or to um, select Motorola handsets. And um, you know, while that's not ideal um, for a you know, this early stages of uh, AR headsets, I think it's okay. Um, one thing I'm a little concerned about is they're promoting this for enterprise, um, which, you know, that doesn't uh, scream to me mass appeal, um, which I mean, obviously these aren't um, going to have mass appeal. Um, so yeah, that's, that's one concern. Um, but I mean, it, they don't look too bad. Now we're gonna have links in the description for all of these um, for you guys. Um, but uh, yeah, just take a look at this, um, I guess, yeah, conceptual uh, screenshot here. And um, on the uh, Lenovo website, they have some videos um, that kind of demonstrate on how it would be used. But basically you can set up, um, you know, additional screens. Um, this particular one, they have three screens set up. Um, and then they also have a version where you can, um, uh, just have one screen and it's kind of curved, um, but basically takes up that whole space like you see there. Um, so yeah, basically extending your PC screen is the idea here. Um, and I kind of like that idea. I'm actually used to having multiple monitors set up, um, uh, you know, just for, I guess, productivity sake, but also, you know, the extra space is nice when you're watching something and you're doing something on the side or, you know, like this person has uh, spreadsheets, uh, uh, Google Docs, uh, Excel, <laughs> you know, all open at the same time. So you're getting your data from these different sources and, you know, trying to put them all together. And I think this extended desktop kind of um, sells that idea a little bit. So I, I, I kind of like that. We unfortunately do not have a uh, price for these, so that's, you know, that could be the killer. Um, if these are, you know, upwards of $1,000, uh, these are just a non-starter for us personally. And I don't think uh, enterprise adoption is even an option at that price. Um, these things have to be affordable. And I mean, hopefully since they're tethered, um, you know, you can offload some of the price into the PC and the software um, and just use the, the glasses for the tech and the display more, more or less. Um, but yeah, so no price on those yet, but we do have, um, they said these will be available mid 2021. So um, that is um, something to look forward to, I guess. Um, and they're gonna have to put some pricing out there. Um, they might be, again, just targeting enterprise though. So, you know, you might have to get in contact with them to even get these. So I'm not sure if these are even an option for the, you know, the average consumer or, you know, enthusiasts like me. So, uh, you know, we'll see. Um, but it's it's an interesting, um, I, I like the, the demos, the quote unquote demos they have on their website. And um, so this is something to keep an eye out on. Um, not the ideal solution, not, you know, everything packaged, um, you're still tethered um, and everything and tethered to a PC at that. Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll see what, um, what they come out with, um, you know, mid 2021. Now, I know you're supposed to uh, save the best for last, but honestly, those were probably the best of the bunch. Um, there's some that uh, showcase some new technology. So it's more a, uh, 
uh, proof of concept and, um, you know, showing progress of development, um, these next uh, pairs of things that I'm gonna show you. Um, and then another uh, brand, um, uh, let's, let's uh, I'll stop talking, let's uh, take a look at these next ones. So uh, let's take a look at these uh, VR and AR headsets um, prototypes um, by C-Real. Um, as you can see from the 2020 version to the 2021 version, um, they've made some improvements um, to the design. So let me just uh, back up a second. What's special about these is um, the light field um, technology that they're implementing with these. So um, basically, um, it gives a better representation of light at depth. Uh, different depths and different uh, uh, distances. So, you know, you can, the screen is right there and, you know, you can display the light on it, but, you know, something further away is going to have different light effects than something that's right in your face. So that's kind of what they're, we're, they're working on with these um, glasses, the VR and the AR. That's their, that's their claim to the technology. Um, that's, that's the, yeah, the technology that they're bringing to the table. And I think that's important um, that there are other companies who are focusing on different aspects of the VR and AR um, because, you know, it's not just, you know, interfaces on display. We want more dynamic experiences as the technology matures. And as they're showing here, they're making it smaller. So I'm showing you the uh, AR, um, what they have planned, you know, see how they're, you know, getting it smaller. And you know, the AR glasses, again, these are a tethered solution, but I'm okay with that for now. Um, but uh, you see how they're trying to get that light um, technology into a smaller package. And, you know, they made some great strides from 2020 to 2021. So this, this jump um, 2021 to 2022, um, if they can pull it off, I think that's that's really good. Um, so yeah, they're they're trying to make it more compact and you know make it more something that the average consumer can wear um, and have a good experience while also not wearing this big bulky thing all the time. And you know that's that's the kicker. I think I want to be able to wear AR glasses all the time. Um, yeah, you can put them to sleep. You don't need to be seeing something all the time. Um, but I want to be wearing them all the time. Does that make sense? Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm interested in this technology. These are just, again, prototypes. Um, so, you know, they're not ready for any kind of mass production. These aren't even close to being um, ready for any type of consumer or even enterprise um, as a solution. Um, but uh, yeah, they're, they're going in the right direction. And like we said, um, I think the technology um, that they're putting into this. Um, I mean, it, it might be patented. I, I didn't really look into it too much, but I hope let, hope that this sort of technology and, you know, other companies who are doing things like this, focusing on different technologies, they can um, eventually come all, all come together so that we have, you know, more competition, yes, but also solutions that have all this um these advanced features that um you know make the consumer experience um great now these last pair of glasses um i'm not 100 percent sold on um just because of the way they're being marketed um and the, the information there that's being released about them um, first of all, and I'll show you a picture in a second and give you some more details. But first of all, um, it's a tethered solution, but also they're trying to bundle it with um, some kind of uh, 5G data plan. And, you know, it has to be tethered to certain phones. Um, so that's that doesn't sound uh, like a, a viable solution. Um, it, a lot of people already have their phone, they have their PC, and I think I think it says it, it, it'll be able to be tethered to the PC. Um, but uh, yeah, there, we already have our devices, um, and this should be an extension of those, not an addition, if that makes sense. So yeah, I, 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 we have um, our iPad, our iPhone, our, our Windows PC, our Mac PC, 
Um, I want something that can hook directly into that and not have to, you know, buy into something else. Um, I just want an extension via software or something. Um, so of course, again, these are a, uh, a wired solution. Now these ones do not have a, um, a release date nor a price. Um, like we said, they're, they're, they're trying to bundle it with some kind of subscription service, 5G um, service, uh, which again, that's, that's kind of concerning. Um, but uh, these are honestly the best looking um, concepts that we've seen um, of all that we've seen um, over the past day. Um, so hopefully they can um, do something good with this. Um, obviously, as you can see, the lenses are um, solid, right? So not see-through, not transparent. Um, so that is that is in an interesting um, way to go about that. Um, yeah, but it, they, they call them the wearable display. Um, so this might not be um, so much augmented reality um, as it is, um, you know, just a monitor, right? An extra monitor. And again, showing you from the back that these are not augmented reality. These are more akin to a, a headset that covers your whole head and, you know, you're, you're looking into it and not through it. Um, and this, again, gives you from the back the, the kind of view of what you would be getting. But the, the, the specs are pretty good sounding. 140 inch display, uh, virtual display, but at 10, 1080p. And I think that's fine for, you know, something that close to your face. Um, I, I'm not sure what the uh, patents for Apple's um, glasses are saying. Um, if they're saying anything about the the uh, resolutions they're able to get out of these types of things, but um, yeah, so so this is an interesting concept. Um, again, not augmented reality, um, but I, I still like the idea of the the form factor and design. These you can take on, take off, and put on really quickly. Um, so you know, a, a big bulky headset you can't do that. Um, you know, so uh, I kind of like that idea of, um, you know, the, I like the design of these because you can just put them on, take them off um, really quickly. And that that allows some convenience even though you're unable to see through them. I'm still, you know, uh, give me the ones where I can see through them and I can wear them all day, basically. Um, that's what we're looking for here. But um, yeah, this is this is still a good idea, uh, an interesting idea, I think. And just the fact that there are people coming um, to market with these types of things um, is a good sign as far as I'm concerned. All right, so that's all we've got for you today. I'm just taking a look at, you know, uh, CES and what they've got coming out. Um, obviously, there was a lot more stuff, um, um, even though it was, uh, you know, just in the evening yesterday. Um, but there was a lot more stuff announced um, at CES 2021, the first day. And the second day, it starts today um, with a focus on gaming is what I read, which I'm, I'm really looking forward to that. Um, uh, so, you know, look forward to some more um, covering the tech CES news um, on this channel tomorrow. Um, so, yeah, what do you think about... Um, just augmented reality in general, augmented reality glasses. Um, like we said, we like the idea of being able to wear them all the time. Um, and we wear glasses, right? <laughs> so we need glasses that either fit nicely over our existing glasses or, you know, just replace them all, all together. And that's what we're kind of looking forward to with the Apple glasses. Um, so... We're hoping we hear some Apple Glasses news um, this summer um, or in the fall, um, but we're not holding our breath, honestly, at this point, especially looking at what some of these people are putting out. Um, our confidence in our confidence in Apple to be able to create a good product is high, but I don't think it's uh, it's going to happen this year. I think it's going to be you know 2022, 2023 that we actually get something, unfortunately. Um, but I'm still keeping an eye on the augmented reality space. And um, that's all we've got for you. Uh, take care.